Oi Gits, this is me, Brack the War Boss here for another video. This one is all about me and how I used to be different. But I changed and now I'm not. I is me and you is you. Enjoy. Hi, it's Brack here. And as the intro may have suggested, uh, the Brack that you see, you have seen in the videos, isn't the original Brack. In fact, it's this fellow here. And um, this is the first model I ever, ever painted. And um, I've added a little bit to it from over time from here to here. Um, yeah, but this is it. And as you can see, it's a war boss from the um, Black Roots set. And um, yeah, I look love this model um, it was it was fantastic um, look why why the change um, originally um, the story was that um, Brack was a death skulls war boss that got kicked out and then started his own little um, little freebooting tribe and um, and they were quite fond of the color purple so that's why you have little purple lap lap and and the um the shoulder pads and the bit of ribbon there um and yeah all my all my orcs had they had blue um blue legs they had red boots and um and whatever color shirt i felt like giving them at the time um they were originally called the red boot mob that's what i first called then i went to um the purple deaf eaters and this one decided to go to go purple and um and i have stuck with brax deaf eaters for a long long time um eventually i decided to do the the green and the orange on all the icons um, it was just sort of to tie lots of things in because over the years I changed with 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 colors of uh, pants and shirts and and found better boot colors than the, than the red um, yeah start from scratch uh, but what has a common is that this um, the piping and anything that looks like a tube has usually either got a gold or a uh, copper type um, color um, and sometimes a bit of red le leather is still there um, and that's basically what made the rest of the army used to sort of look a bit like that but um but now it's changed and why did it change well mainly because of the eighth edition when they the codex came out and i saw you could do um oh sorry i just lost all my train of thought um yeah when when i saw that clans were a thing and clans had rules i got really really excited and because everything was still blue i decided to go for these the um go back to death skulls so i didn't Sort of because of the rules, but um, I was one of those people who thought, well, they're blue, I'll just go with it anyway. And then as I played, I realised that um, the Death Scales is probably um, a little su superior. They have a lot of little extra rules, um, so that only really benefits me. Um, my Warlord was a big mech with a shock attack gun. He still is, maybe, I haven't played any game any new games for a little while so um so there and and i had i had this guy this i've, I've had this guy's been knocking around for about two years i've had him and i he was sort of a secondary war boss when i had war bosses in in my, my lists um to sort of support uh he was unnamed but i decided um to Rename him Brack. I'll give him the uh, the Brack's title, and um, well, basically, since I started doing these videos, I needed a better 
model or a better painted model to be the face of the channel and um, so this is it and um, so we have a little look um, so you see that there's a little bit of purple still on on one of the plates and there's a little bit of purple on a there you go on a little ribbon there so that's just a tie it's a bit of a, a tie into the to the army of, of the past um, yeah and um, yeah look I'm, I'm not the best painter in the world but I think I you can definitely see how the um, how it has improved over the years um, yeah okay well that's it I, I think I am going to leave it there so remember if you're gonna go crump and remember to bash early and bash often